from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009. Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture, and indeed, more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions. In this round one game, entering from my right, is the Zane Scholars team from Edmonton University, Kenya. Stephen Omondi, fourth year, Economics and Geography, Sierra. Martha Midei, fourth year, Water and Environmental Engineering, Nairobi. Andrew Bore, fourth year, Agricultural Engineering, Eldoret. And from my left is the Zane Scholars team from Abubakar Kafawa Balewa University, Nigeria. Aishin Yaku, 5th year Chemical Engineering, Abuja. Maka Maza, 3rd year Electrical Engineering, Medivri. Jennifer Oswide, 5th year Industrial Chemistry, Ekuma. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over 1 million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. <laughs> and if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in the center position for Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University, Nigeria, is... Hashim. And Hashim, I know some things about Nigeria. Yeah. I've learned that you have six zones, yeah. and the six zones have 36 states altogether, yeah. plus the federal capital territory of Abuja. Tell us more about Abuja. Abuja is the capital city of Nigeria, as you have said. And it was established in 1975 by the federal government of Nigeria. It is one of the only three capital cities in the world to be built from scratch. And it is the seat of Nigerian power. It houses the parliament building, Asurok, and other par parastatals. Right. Edgerton, we have Stephen, and he is from Edgerton University in Kenya, Africa, a continent where there are many, many modes of getting around apart from cars. Tell us about modes of transport in Kenya. Uh, one of the most uh, popular modes of transport in Kenya is the Matatu. It comes from a Swahili word for penitatu, that is three tens and coins. Uh, and that's how it gave its name. Uh, they are so full of graffiti, music, and they're very noisy. And one thing I realized is that they are, they are in, let me say, endemic to Kenya. I've never heard of any other country where but this particular type of vehicles are found. Right. You do have a chance, having won the toss earlier on, to choose our first category. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are birds, the word, Mediterranean Sea, Naming chemical compounds, the largest. Edgerton, choice of category, please. Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean it is. Which Mediterranean port city on the Nile was the world center of Greek learning in the third and fourth centuries? Stephen. 
Alexandria. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Five points apiece and a five point bonus for all three. Which three African national capitals are Mediterranean port cities? Tripoli? Yes. Algiers? Yes. Tunis? Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 30. Stephen, choice of category, please. Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea it is. The largest Mediterranean inlet along the African coast is the Gulf of Sidra, bordering which nation? Egypt. Egypt. No, I'm turning it over to ATBU. Libya. Correct, for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. The strategic Mediterranean port Said, one, is in which nation? Egypt. Correct, and two, Suez is at the northern end of which waterway? Suez Canal. Is correct, for 20 points, bringing your total also to 30. Hashim, choice of category, please. Chemical compounds. It is. Which three-syllable word is used at the end of a compound that has a negative OH ion, such as NaOH? Edgerton? Hydroxide. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Sulfate, sulfide, sulfone, one. Which is a compound where sulfur is connected to a non-oxygen item? Sulfone. No. The correct answer is sulfide. Two. Which contains an SO4 group? Sulfate. Is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 50. Stephen, choice of category, please. Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean it is. The Mediterranean's deepest point is off which nation whose highest point is Mount Olympus? Egerton. Greece. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Four of the largest 10 Mediterranean islands belong to Greece. Name any two of these Greek islands. Kofu and Crete. Crete is correct. The others would be Eboa, Lesbos and Rhodes. Choice of category, please, Stephen. Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean it is. Which ancient port city bordering Israel and Egypt is in a strip of Palestinian land along the sea? ATBU. Jordan. No, I'm turning it over to Egerton. Gaza. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Arabic, Greek, Latin, Turkish. In which language is the Mediterranean called one? Albar al Ram. Arabic. Yes, and two, Mare Nostrum. Latin. Is correct for 20 points. Bringing your total to 100 against ATBU's 30. Stephen, choice of category, please. Buzz the word. Buzz the word is is. Armadillo, Barbet, Mola Mola. Which is a bird? ATBU. Mola Mola. No, I'm turning it over to Edgerton. Barbet. Is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. Grib. One. Aye Aye, Dugong, Grebe. Which is a bird? Grebe. Is correct. And two. Loris, Manatee, Shearwater. Which is a bird? Share water. Share water is correct for 20 points. End of round one. The score stands at 30 for ATBU Nigeria against 130 Edgerton University Kenya. <laughs> now, whenever a team makes its first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge, we think our viewers right across the continent should find out something about its university. So here now is a profile of Edgerton University, Kenya. Egerton University, Kenya was founded in 1939 and later established as a full-fledged university in 1987. I like the school because of resilience. Uh, we people are hardworking and we are very determined and this, that has led us to succeed in various fields. The institution offers such programs as education, food, nutrition and dietetics, community development, agriculture and human ecology extension. There are so many people from different parts of Kenya. I interact a lot. I've learned new things about different people and I've made new friends. Egerton's vision is to be a world-class university for the advancement of humanity through generating and disseminating significant knowledge by offering exemplary education that influences national and global development. Those were scenes from campus life at Egerton University, Kenya, Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 30 points for ATBU and 130 for Edgerton University. We have two new face-off players in center position. For Edgerton University, we have Martha. We've been on our Matatus or Matris. How else might we travel in Kenya? Uh, in Kenya, you might, you might travel using a border border. Uh, this is 
a, a bicycle taxi where passengers are carried on the carrier of a bicycle. Uh, they actually, the word border border means from border to border, and this means of transport was originally used on the Kenya-Uganda border, but has spread to other parts of Kenya, and it's a fast and readily available means. Fast, readily available, brilliant. ATBU, Mark, we're still in the north. ATBU is in the north. Tell us more about your linkages to this part of Nigeria. Um, ATB is located in the, um, the northeastern part of Nigeria, in Bauchi State to be precise. It's a very beautiful state, um, um, a savanna region. It also contains um, the Yankari National um, Game Reserve. It's a national park, um, very wonderful place to take a safari, uh, also, which also contains the Wiki Warm Springs. Right, I'm waiting for the first contestant who's going to say that they come from a very ugly place. <laughs> but in the first, first place, we've got some four beautiful categories. Let's have a look at our four new categories, and they are... African political parties, iron and steel, let's go, the UK, and the environment in 2008. Mark, choice of category, please. Let's go, the UK. It is. The tube is the common name for the subway system in which city the largest in the UK? Edgerton? London? Yes. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Wembley, Heathrow, Piccadilly. One. Which stadium is home to England's national football team? Wembley. Is correct. Heathrow. And two, Heathrow. which is London's busiest airport? Heathrow. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 160 against ATBU's 30. <laughs> Martha, choice of category, please. The environment in 2008. It is. During 2008's dry season, farms in Kenya and Tanzania saw major flooding from which mountains melting glaciers? Edgerton. Kilimanjaro. Is correct for 20 bonus points, five points apiece. In 2008, which four nations sharing the Kagera River near Lake Victoria set up a framework for its joint management? Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya. Uganda, Tanzania. Yes. Rwanda and Burundi. Yes, for 20 points, bringing your total to 190. Martha, choice of category, please. Iron and steel. It is. Made from 18,000 iron parts bolted together, which French tower was once the world's tallest structure? Edgerton. The Eiffel Tower. It's correct, for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece, which two Asian nations led the world in steel production with over 100,000 metric tons each per year? Japan and China. That is correct, for 20 points, bringing your total to 220. Martha, choice of category, please. Let's go the UK. It is. North of Salisbury, you can visit which World Heritage Site, a prehistoric stone monument? Edgerton. The Stonehenge. It's correct. And that flash of lightning tells us that you, Martha, are in line to answer today's Zane Super Bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is popular musicians. Please watch your screen. Of these four famous singers, identify which is Neo? C. Yes. Seal. A. Yes. Joe. B. Is correct. For 30 points, bringing your total to 260. Martha, choice of category, please. African political parties. It is. ZANU and its successor, ZANU-PF, have dominated politics in which nation since independence in 1980? ATBU. Zimbabwe. It's correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, KANU were the ruling party of which nation from independence in 1963 until 2002? Kenya. That is correct. Two, TANU and the CCM have ruled which nation since independence in 1961? Tanzania. It's correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 60. Mark, choice of category, please. African political parties. It is. Which nation's 2008 election resulted in a peaceful transition by the outgoing new patriotic party? ATBU. Ghana. Is correct for 20 bonus points. In which nation's 2003 and 2007 presidential elections did the People's Democratic Party win with over 24 million votes both times? Nigeria. That is correct. Bringing your total to 90. Mark, choice of category, please. African political parties. It is. Which African nation is led by Frelimo, the movement that led it to independence? ATBU. Mozambique. That's correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which party ruled South Africa from 1948 until the end of apartheid? Time up. The answer is the National Party. And two, which final white president of South Africa negotiated the end of apartheid? De Klerk. That is correct. For 10 points, bringing your total to 110. End of round two.
ATBU doing some catching up there. The score is now 110 for ATBU against 260 for Edgerton. Now, by way of international introduction, let's place the spotlight on Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University, Nigeria. Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University of Bauchi, Nigeria, commonly known as ATBU, was established in 1980. It has one of the strongest engineering programs in the country and the strongest in the northern part of the country. It's a very competitive school. It, um, it brings out the best in you, um, both academic and um, mentally. ATBU offers six faculties in agriculture, engineering, environment, management, science and technology education. The university positions itself not only as a repository of scientific and technological information, but also a source of dissemination and acquisition of such information globally to be made available for ready application. Best thing about that school is that it's really small, so you get to do everything at your own pace. ATBU prides itself in its motto, education is the mother of the practical art. Seen from the campus of Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University in Nigeria. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries, and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 110 for ATBU against 260 for Edgerton. In the center positions, we now have Andrew for Edgerton. Now, when your Martha talked to us, she talked about border border transport. She didn't say border border. And I think she was giving an example of another linguistic variant in Kenya. Would uh, you like to say more? Yes, they call it Sheng. It's actually a mixture of English and Swahili. It's common among the youth, and it's actually developing into a Creole, our own Kenyan Creole. And it's fun to use because you can actually make up your own words along the way. Right. Well, when we have a party after all this, you can teach us some more words. Yes. Jennifer, from ATBU, we're still in the north. I know that you were born and bred in Kano. Yeah. More. OK. Kano is actually a very nice city to be born in. It has one of the oldest um, dye pits, dyeing pits in the country and in Africa, I believe. Um, Nigerians are people of color. We love color a lot. And we don't um, settle for the fabric that we get from outside. So we prefer to do our own things so that we look as colorful as we want. So that's how we use the dye pits. We, everything that's done in the dye pits is done manually. And the material actually comes out very beautiful, very bright, colorful. And we're happy. Nigerians right. are always happy. Right. OK. But now we have four new categories. Let's have a look at our four new categories. And they are FIFA World Cup records, Greek myths and legends, light, bright, rhymes with blue. Choice of category, please. Rhymes with blue. Rhymes with blue. Which three-syllable word rhyming with blue is the largest furry animal of Australia? ATBU. Kangaroo. Is correct. For 20 bonus points. Which two-syllable word rhyming with blue is both a type of bird and an adjective meaning crazy or silly? Cuckoo. It's correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 140. Jennifer, choice of category, please. Rhymes with blue, please. It is. The Karoo is an arid 260,000 square kilometre tableland in which African country? Edgerton. South Africa. It's correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. Which word rhyming with blue, one, is the first appearance on a stage or screen? Debut. Is correct. Two, is something interest does in a bank account? A clue. Is correct. Bringing your total to 190. Andrew, choice of category, FIFA please. World Cup records. It is. At age 42 in 1994, Roger Millar of which African nation became the oldest player to score a World Cup goal? Edgerton. Cameroon. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. In a match against Cameroon, Oleg Salenko had a record performance. One, he scored how many goals against Cameroon? One. No, five. Two, for which nation? Nigeria. No, Russia. Andrew, choice of category, please. FIFA World Cup records. It is. With six goals at age 17, which Brazilian legend is still the youngest to have scored a World Cup goal? Edgerton. Pele. Is correct for 20 bonus points. 
Ronaldo, Romero, Rivaldo. In 2006, which striker scored his 15th goal in World Cup play? Ronaldo. Is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 330. Andrew, choice of category, please. FIFA World Cup record. It is. Gabriel Batistuta, with 10 cup goals, is the all-time top scorer for which nation? ATBU. Italy. No, I'm turning it over to Edgerton. Argentina. It's correct. For 20 bonus points, for five points apiece and a five-point bonus for all three. Which nation's all-time top scorer is one Eusebio? Portugal. Yes. Christo Stoikov. Russia. Russia. No, Bulgaria. And three, Daniel Amokachi and Niger Emmanuel Amuneke. Nigeria. Is correct. For 10 points, bringing your total to 350 against ATBU's 140. Andrew, Chosef category, please. FIFA World Cup record. It is. From 1998 to 2006, which French keeper tied a record with a total of 10 clean sheets? ATBU. Time up. I'm turning it over to Edgerton. Bates. Correct. For 20 bonus points, Bates gave up only two goals on the way to the 1998 Oliver Cup. Which Jen. keeper tied the record Oliver in Italy's 2006 Oliver run to the title? Oliver Kahn. No. Gianluigi Buffon. Buffon sorry. Andrew, choice of category, please. Greek myths and legends. It is. Which mythological hero became almost invulnerable when his mother dipped him into the magical river Styx? ATBU. Achilles. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. During the Trojan War, one. Which greatest Trojan hero was killed by Achilles? Hector. Hector. Is correct. And two. Achilles was later killed when an arrow pierced which vulnerable body part? Heel. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 170. Jennifer, choice of category, please. Light bright. It is. Coherent, monochromatic, transverse. Which describes light whose waves are in a phase, as in laser light? Edgerton. Coherent. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, which three-syllable name is given to a three-dimensional photograph made with coherent light? Hologram. Is correct. For 20 points. End of round three. Our score stands at 170 for Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University and 390 for Edgerton University, Kenya. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, when did Abuja become the Nigerian capital? Is it A, 1976? B, 1991, or C, 1960? SMS your answer to 33971. Choose A for 1976, B, 1991, or C, 1960. SMS your answer to 33971. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in a category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 170 for Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University, Nigeria, against 390 for Edgerton University, Kenya. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. ATBU, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are... Years ending in O, which science, great things, all puns intended. Which science? Which science it is. Take a deep breath. Astronomy, chemistry, maths, physics, or psychology. Which is the field of, seconds away, Alfred Adler in Switzerland's Carl Jung. Yes. 
Amado Avogadro and Chemistry. Chemistry. Yes. Leonard Oil and Francis Mathematics. Fr yes. Jean Piaget and Martinique, Franz Fanon. Astronomy. No. Paul Dirac and Denmark's Niels Bohr. Yes. England's Robert Chemistry. Boylan. Chemistry. Yes. Ptolemy and America's Math. Carl Sagan. No. England's William and Caroline Hirsch. Psychology. No. Svante Arrhenius and Germany's Emil Fischer. Maths. No. Americans William James and Eric Erickson. Maths. No. Jean Paget and Martinique's Franz Fanon. Astronomy. No. Ptolemy and America's Carl Sagan. Astronomy. Astronomy. Yes. England's William and Caroline Herschel. Chemistry. No. Svante Arrhenius and Germany's Emil Fischer. Chemistry. Yes. Americans William James and Eric Erickson. Psychology. Yes. Jean Paget and Martinique's Franz Fanon. Astronomy. Astronomy. No. England's William and Caroline Herschel. Chemistry. No. Jean Paget and Martinique's Franz Fanon. No. England's William and Caroline Physics. Herschel. No. Time's up. You answered eight questions correctly, giving you 400 points and a total of 570 ATBU. Let's look at the ones that you got wrong. Piaget Fanon equals psychology. Herschel equals astronomy. And now, with 390 points, Edison University is 180 points behind and needs four correct answers to win. Which of the three remaining categories might you choose? Great things. Great things it is. Take a deep breath. Identify the following about people, places, and things called great. And seconds away. The world's largest seal-eating fish. Whale shark? No. The royal name of the African ruler born Mohamed Touré. Sepul Touré? No. The Great St. Bernard Pass leads from Italy to this country. Switzerland? Yes. The Charles Dickens novel telling of... Great Britain. expectations. Yes. The 1830s mass... The Great Shack? No. The Huntsman constellation, the location of the Great Nebula. Sagittarius? No. The son of Pippin the Short, whose name means Charles the Great. Charlemagne? Yes. The name of the disastrous event that occurred in London in 1666. The Great Plague? No. The famous New York City street of theatres called the Great White Way. Broadway. Yes. The North American nation of the Great Bear Lake and Great Slave. Canada. Canada. Yes. The world's largest seal-eating fish. Killer whale. No. The royal name of the African ruler born Mohamed Touré. Mohamed VI. No. The 1830s the mass... The Great Trek. Yes. The Huntsman constellation that Orion. appeared... Yes. You answered seven questions correctly, giving a total of 350 points and a grand total of 740, making Edgerton University, Kenya, the winner of today's Zain Africa Challenge. <laughs> Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. The largest fish is the white shark. Mohamed Touré was Askia the Great. The 1666 event was the fire of London, and that's it. Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University, I'm going to take the first opportunity to visit you in the north. We have to say goodbye to you from the challenge, however. You'll be taking away 500 US dollars each, plus $5,000 as an institutional grant for your university. Edgerton University, Kenya. Hongera, Hongezi, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in another round. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Hubert Kairuki Memorial University, Tanzania takes on Busoga University, Uganda in the international Inter-University Battle of Reigns that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again. From all of us here, it's bye-bye. Till next time.